So, race 40 and a little bonus race for us is the Velka Pardubica. Over four miles and all to one forty handicap. Close nose for David Robertson. Compact body for James Shea. Maritza for Thomas Rogers. Sowers, Beauty for D. Hooley. Bold Ransom for Paul Rose. Burn on the Lawn for Darren Thompson. Victory Heights for Darren Hooley. Chrysalis Future for James Shea. Inflation Stamp for Stu Gray. Xanadu Star for Jim Murray. And Zami Thinkar for Pontypool Racing. A quite small field here of 11. But we have plenty of four mile races now than we did a few seasons back. So it's just 11 of them to go over this mad hat course. Cross ditch, down vow, over fences as they get to the first of the 30. And they're all over it. So we've still got 11 runners. And Bold Ransom is going to lead us. Although taking a keen hold coming into the second. And they will get over that as well. Oh, a nice big high jump there by closed nose for David Robertson in the rear. Higher than Michael Jordan. So it's Bold Ransom that leads us. We come down to the third, which, we, which is another thicket wall offence, and they all get over that. You don't see there's plenty of crowd here, just standing in the field by that Rolls Royce. There's the ambulance, there's a couple of pine trees. So Bob Ransom's gone boldly off, and no one else has gone before this season. So the fourth gets over it well. Just as the remain oh no, they don't. <laughs> Close nose just threw himself into the fence there. Unlucky for David Robertson. So we're down to 10. We've only been through uh, four fences, so we get to the fifth. And now they go over some of the dirt road here. We have to go back and forwards over this. But it's Bob Ransom that leads us. And that five to Christmas Future and Xanadu Star the Grey. And then Inflation Stamp on the inside. Then Victory Heights and Zamar Thinkar as they get to the six. And they come off the dirt and they're all over it. Well, they're on the lawn pecks and towards the rear on landing. Bold Ransom, happy to boldly go ahead, boldly go where no one has gone before. From Chrysalis Future in seconds, and a new star the Grey's third. Inflation stamp for Stu Gray in fourth, unbelievable. They're followed through by Victory Heights and Sour's Beauty. We go to the seventh, and they said they'll go across this road again, this dirt. Right, we've still got the car park fences to take. Bold Ransom still leads from Xanadu Star and Christmas Future. Then about five back to Inflation Stamp, Victory Heights, Sal's Beauty, Compact, Bonnie and Marista. And then Zami, Thinkar and Bird on the lawn at the rear. So a couple of railway fences here as they go over these. So far so good. We all get over it. Bird on the lawn just at the rear again. A little bit detached by just a length or so from the, the third pack. But it's Bold Ransom. Takes them into this plain one as they come off the dirt. Still on their feet. Christmas Future and Xanadu Star in second and third, and then Inflation Stamp and Maritza. Or Maritza. Oh, Maritza was right first time. And Bold Ransom. Still leading. He's still just got under three miles to travel from Christmas Future and Xanadu Star. And then 5 6 back to Victory Heights and Inflation Stamp. And they're followed through by Sal's Beauty and Marista. Compact Bonnie. Zami Thinkar. And Bird on the lawn. Darren Thompson towards the rear. They all get over the 11th. So, Bold Ransom. Chris's future's moved up to second on his own now. The Sanadu Star lets him go. We'll go over the dirt roads again. Two and a half miles to travel. And still, Bold Ransom. Past the big screen. They go over a nice big plane one. A big high jump there by Xanadu Star, but all over it. We'll swing right handed now. It's a sharp right handed bend here. Tight into this fence, it's almost like a show jumping course. We go over the 13th, they will stream over it well. So it's still Bold Ransom from Xanadu Star into second now with Chrysalis Future as his accompaniment. And then about five back to Sowers Beauty and Victory Heights together. David Hooley horses. And swing on this tight right handed again. And Maritza and Compact Bonnie. Inflation stamp starting to. Go backwards, Zami Thinkar and Bird on the lawn as they get to the car park fences. They're over the first and they'll get over it well. Have to take them again. It's still Bold Ransom, but his lead's down to just a couple now to Xanadu Star and Chrysalis Future. And they're still four away from Sal's Beauty and Victory Heights. And the further two lengths back to Compact Bonnie and Marista, they'll get over that bar. Xanadu Star made a mistake. But it's still Bold Ransom, been there since the beginning. We've still got two miles to go, so there's plenty of plenty of racing to be had as they go over the car park fences again, the railings. And it's still Bold Ransom. 
have been there since the beginning. Plenty of crowd cheering there, as you can see them. Plenty of white vested people. They seem to get everywhere as they all stream over the water here. The inflation stamp of Stu Gray's gets further and further to the rear of the field as they come up to the next as they swing left handed and approach the 18th. They still have another 12 fences to take. And they've done well, we've only lost closed nosed. Quite strung out, but uh, there's still plenty of racing. They go over the water again. Everybody's over that. So Bob Ransom being joined now just by a length away from Chrysalis Future and Xanadu Star. Much closer order. Next to this big plain one. And we'll go over it together. We're jumping quite well now. We go across the, the dirt road again in the field. We get to the railway fences, 20 and 21, and they're over those well together. Oh, we've lost Bird on the lawn at the rear. Three didn't quite make the railway fences there. Didn't quite get the second one. But up front, it's Bold Ransom being joined by Xanadu Star. Between those is Chrysalis Future. And then we're four or five back to Sal's Beauty and Victory Heights as they go over that. I don't know if that's called a fence. It's uh, a step. And they're all over it. If anyone had fallen on that, it would have been quite embarrassing. But Bold Ransom leads from Xanadu Star and Chrysalis Future. And then about three now back to Sal's Beauty and Victory Heights, making up a little bit of ground all the time. We get to the 23rd, the leaders are over it. As is the rest, including inflation stamp at the rear. So Bold Ransom, Xanadu Star and Chrysalis Future as we come down to the final seven or eight fences, which is roughly over a mile to go. They still lead from Chrysalis Future and Sal's Beauty that have had uh, comfortable rides around. Victory Heights, and Compact Bonnie. And they will get over the 24th. It's Xanadu Star and Bold Ransom together. Bold Ransom being pushed along a little bit. Approach the next. They will get over at the leaders. With a slow jump there by Victory Heights. Inflation stamp pecked on landing as they make those car park fences again. There's a tree in the way. Oh, and it's gone. And it's Bold Ransom still leads from Xanadu Star and Chrysalis Future as they go over the mud road again from Sal's Beauty and Victory Heights. Compact Bonnie, Marista, and Inflation Stamp have got a lot to do to win from there as we come down to the final six furlongs. As they, and there's only about three to take now. And it's Xanadu, Star, Bold Ransom and Chrysalis Future together. The one that's made up good ground now is Sal's Beauty as Victory Heights as well. Inflation Stamp makes up a bit of ground on Marista towards the rear. But it's Xanadu Star that's going to lead us down to the last couple. Xanadu Star from Bold Ransom. Sal's Beauty made up good ground and moving ominously on the outside as they go over the 28. So three for him. We've lost one there. Victory Heights is a goner. But it's Sal's Beauty for Dave Hooley that does take it up. From Xanadu Star and Bold Ransom. Chrysalis Future still trying to run on Zami Thinkar and Inflation Stamp and Compact Bonnie and Marista we can't see as they get to the penultimate. They're all over it and it's still Xanadu Star that now takes it up with three furlongs to go with just one to jump. It's Xanadu Star from Sal's Beauty. Bold Ransom hasn't got a lot left. Chrysalis Future still trying to run on. I think it's going to come from these four. Two and a half furlongs to go and it's Xanadu Star for Jim Morgan. Is he going to get another winner this week? It's Xanadu Star from Sal's Beauty in second. Bold Ransom in third. Chrysalis Future is fourth. I'll be surprised if we get any change now inside the final furlong and a half as they approach the final fence. He's only got to get over this Xanadu Star. He takes it well from Sal's Beauty in second. Bolt Ransom in third. Chrysalis Future trying to get up for third, but it's going to be a win for Jim Morgan. But with Xanadu Star takes the Velka Pardavika here with a good win. With Xanadu Star from Sal's Beauty running on in second. Old Ransom and Chrysalis Future fighting out third and fourth. And it's Chrysalis Future that's just going to get up for third. Or is he from Bob Ransom? He is from a fast finishing compact Bonnie and Zami Thinkar. A loose horse, Marista and Inflation Stamp make up the final finishers. So it's a good win there for Jim Murray. Picking up the Velka Pardubica. Well done. Xanadu Star. Xanadu, as if you didn't think I was ever going to sing that. From Sal's Beauty in second for David Hooley. Third was Chrysalis Future for James Shea. Fourth was our long time lead up. We just didn't have much left coming around there for Paul Rhodes, Bold Ransom, and Compact Bonnie also for James Shea got up for fifth. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week.